From LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a big afternoon with huge news today as the housing data continues to roll in. And what did it say? Not good news. We'll have the latest details on the latest housing numbers released today. Home builders, tomorrow's housing starts, the day after is existing home sales. What you need to know is that we we culminate a week before when we had major troubles across the board on those unemployment numbers and that CPI beats. Wednesday, Thursday, the PPI beats, and Friday with the major retail beats as well. But minutes ago, there's a potential deal for gasoline, and that major deal for gasoline is huge. It's from the EU countries in view of the concern growing from Russia. That is why you have to get this forcible check which is in every U.S. state. It's about $100,000 across the board. You qualify. You qualify for these incredible checks, and so you get them. You go right in this video and get those incredible checks, and over this one-hour broadcast, we can go over each of these checks one at a time. Go right in this video and subscribe. Become a member and get these incredible checks across this video. We're going to go over each of these incredible checks later in this recording. But as we turn back to the breaking news today, a lot of it, as we had consumer confidence fall dramatically in a new report released today. That's why you have to get that force so much check in every U.S. state. New concerns about how quickly they're going to get that Build Back Better Act done. That's why you have to get that force so much check now in every U.S. state. And how do you get it? You go right on this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino VIP. And stay to the second half as we go over. this $100,000 of checks for you. You don't wait to get them. And you qualify. Why would you wait when you qualify? Single individual, 75,000 or less. Married couple, 150,000 or less if you rent, if you own it. If you have children, if you don't have children, and if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, railroad benefits, veterans benefits, seniors, go under this video, become a member. Join the thousands who have, because the financial future of this economy is going to be detailed in this recording. It's important to know where this economy is and where it's going. You with the housing data being released today, the unemployment numbers coming on Thursday, and everything else in between. We'll go over also the Build Back Better Act, but you shouldn't wait for those checks. You need to get these forcible checks that are in every U.S. state right now. Go under this video, become a member. And over this incredible broadcast, we're going to go over all of these incredible checks. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, it's a beautiful day. It's a gorgeous afternoon. And the details start right here on Afternoons L Light for another gorgeous afternoon of a Monday And good afternoon, everybody. It's a beautiful day here along the coast, and you need to get these big sums of money. I'm going to go over all that money in today's recording. Unemployment continues to surge dramatically higher. We'll be looking at that narrative in today's recording. Those four stimulus checks now law. Why would you wait to get them? We're going to go over how to get these incredible checks later in this recording. Plus, we'll be looking at the latest details that came in minutes ago from one of the major banks that signals where this economy is, where it's going, and where it's going to land. It's a big, bold, beautiful day. I'm excited you're here, and welcome to another installment of Afternoons. How you doing? Hope you're having a beautiful day. It's a gorgeously hot day here in Los Angeles. It's just a little bit too warm. It's, you know, it's the type of weather that um, doesn't make particular hairstyles look particularly good. Uh, but maybe sometimes they're usually not good. <laughs> in today's recording, we got a lot of things to go over, and we're going to go over all those incredible checks. Did you become a member? Make sure you do go on to this video, join. And later in this video, we're going to go over all these incredible checks. But first, we're going to turn to the breaking news. You saw it over the weekend because you did tune in on the weekend. Thank you for doing that because you got to be on top of this economy. We had a housing data release minutes ago, the first of several days of data. And what did that data show us? First, let's get a narrative of what's going on with the housing data this week. It's important because it gives us guidance about inflation. This week, we have a lot of housing data coming in. The home builders today, the housing starts tomorrow, and then Wednesday, the existing home sales. 
We're watching this data to see whether it shows more inflationary pressures because Jay Powell wants to slow down the economy. And that slowdown would be evidence in the housing data. So what did we see today? The NASA Association of Home Builders, Wells Fargo Housing Market Index released minutes ago obtained by LA News shows market conditions are not particularly good. This number is a consumer confidence number or, or a builder sentiment number. And the builder sentiment number in the index released minutes ago today showed a drop of 12 points to 55 how what is what does that really mean this is the largest single month drop in the survey's 37 year history with the exception of april 2020 when the when the pandemic started and the, it plummeted 42 points to 30 at the start of the pandemic not good this is a consumer confidence number and it basically and it's the consumer in this case is the builders and it actually says that's the second worst drop in a month now, that's sort of interesting. Why is this month different than the last month? Well, if you think about it, what really happened the last month that's different than the prior month? It's the inflationary pressures in manifested by that CPI that started coming in really hot in May. By June, it was out of control. Sentiment stood at about 80 uh, last year, but and it was 90 before the pandemic. So to think that we're now at 55 today, it's higher than negative because anything under 50 is negative. But affordability is the greatest challenge you face in the housing market, says Robert Dietz, the chief economist with the NAHB that released the data today. Significant sentiments of home builders' populations are priced into the market. Another sign of the problem is that 13% of builders reported they had to reduce prices in the latest index released today. Production, bottlenecks, rising home builder costs, and inflation are causing many home builders to really not be happy. Consumer confidence was also detailed today. And that detail showed that among income individuals, who fall within the $30,000 to $100,000 range. Remember, that's almost a stimulus check because most stimulus checks are $75,000 or less. 75% of them say their earnings have fallen behind the cost of living. That's why you got to get a stimulus check. That's why you have to get a stimulus check. That's exactly the stimulus check individuals, $75,000 or less. Here we say uh, $30,000 to $100,000. It's just about the stimulus check individual. And 77% believe the U.S. will be in a recession by the end of 2022. Why? Because they're watching this channel. Now, understand you are in a recession, but the hurt of the recession will be felt next year. This is all breaking news. This report is by Prim America released today. This higher level concern financially among middle Americans families than we even saw at the height of the pandemic, says its CEO, Glenn Williams. So he says the consumer sentiment is now worse now than it was even before the start of the pandemic. This is why you have to get a force stimulus check. You have to get a force stimulus check. Go right on this video and become a member. And why is it so important to get these force stimulus checks? Because they're law and there's lots of money. And we're going to go over all these incredible checks later in this video. They were done by executive action, passed by the President of the United States back in the month of March. A series of wonderful checks. And you qualify. Single individual, 75000 less. Go get it. Married couple, 150000 less. Go get it. If you are on benefits, SSI, SSDI, veterans benefits, go get it. Become a member. Go right on this channel and become a member of L81 and get these incredible checks now a law and get that incredible financial freedom. Meantime, don't forget to go under this video and also link up and go over to L82 and L83, which are launching officially in less than approximately two weeks. We've been doing testers. If you've been jumping over there, you've been having some fun. L82 ran a live show last night. Testers, the official launch of the channels coming in less than about probably about less than two weeks. That's LA2 and LA3. LA2 will be more about stimulus and LA3 will be more about the economy. We'll have more checks over there that you don't even hear on this channel. Yeah, it's going to get exciting. Now, let's go to the other breaking news that came in today. And of course, it's unemployment. These unemployment numbers continue to rock Wall Street. And today it came in the case of Goldman Sachs. The trading firm announced from CEO David Solomon today that inflation is deeply entrenched in the landscape of the U.S. economy. I expect there's going to be more volatility and there's going to be more uncertainty in the light of a higher inflationary environment when we manage our resources uncertainly. Uh, uh, Plus, my dialogue with CEOs, this is Solomon, is that they're telling me they continue to see persistent inflation in the supply chain. Our economists, meanwhile, see, meanwhile, see the significant signs of inflation that will make lowering towards the later second part of the half. 
Plus, they announced that they are pulling back hiring, that they're slowing on hiring later this year and paying their vendors less money. Meantime, they beat on revenues today. Major beat. This is very important. So we have a lot in just one. What's that like? Sixty seconds. That was sixty seconds. We went over unemployment. We went over inflation, and we went over recession. Sixty seconds. First, we're looking at uh, corporate recession. Corporate recession is your recession because if they're suffering a recession, you're suffering a recession. We see it in the corporate earnings, and that's why we have to watch all the data this week. We also had the details about inflation when the Gold, Goldman's head Solomon says. Inflation is deeply entrenched in this economy now. And then we also had the guidance on where this economy is coming with recession. Now, why is this so important for you? Because with these incredible raises of inflation, depending on whatever benchmark you're looking at, CPI, PPI, or uh, retail sales, your benefits are going up a lot. Let's go over what happened on all these subject matters late last week. The segment matter started with Wednesday, when the CPI was a major beat. Then on Thursday, the PPI was a major beat. Then on Friday, the retail sales is a major beat. Why is this important for you? Because this is all indication of how high inflation is going. And if inflation continues to go higher, then what does that mean for you? It means that your benefits will go higher across the board. The raise of these benefits are dependent upon the raise of inflation. And if inflation is still persistent last week, point after point, then your benefits get the benefit of these incredible raises across the board. What's important to understand is that as these numbers continue to track higher, then there's a lot that helps you. Let's look at what happened. When we look at that inflationary situation last Wednesday, the CPI was released, and what did it do? It was the June number, and how high did it go compared to the month of May? This is inflation. The month of May was 8.6%. In the month of June, released last Wednesday, it skyrocketed to 9.1%. This was a major beat. No one saw this coming. But this is great news for you and your benefits, because guess why? <laughs> your benefits are going up a lot of money. A lot of money based upon these inflationary pressures. Let's go over how this works starting right now. These inflationary pressures, which started with the CPI and then followed thereafter with the PPI, are all part of the equation of determining how inflation is heading. And if inflation continues to track higher, then your benefits could be going up approximately $5,000 more. Wow, that's incredible. Let's go over the details of it right now. Your benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Rural Benefits, Social Security, and everything else are all tied to a benchmark. That benchmark is COLA. That benchmark COLA is announced in, in December, but it's dependent upon another benchmark. And that other benchmark is the CPI-W in the month of July, August, and September. What is the CPI-W? It's a subsection of the CPI, which we just went over. If the CPI, the inflationary number, continues to track at where it is last Wednesday and stays where it is or goes higher, then your benefits are going up a lot. Last Wednesday, we just saw it tracked from 8.6 in the month of May to 9.1% in the month of June. So we need to see the July number, the August number, and the September number stay about the same or better or higher because then your benefits are going up a lot. You've had great questions on them, so let's go over all these incredible questions right now. First, is the raise of your benefits automatic? It is. You don't have to do anything across the board. Number two, all benefits? Yes, all benefits, including Social Security. Social Security, SSI, SSDI, railroad benefits, veterans benefits. Number three, everyone $5,000? No, but everyone's percentage is the same. So everyone's percentage is going to go up the same amount based upon the amount of money you make. Now, that is why when we're watching this channel, you need to really track two subject matters attunedly, inflation and recession. Inflation because it gives you guidance on how much more your benefits are going up, and two, recession because it gives you guidance on how to get this money across the board. The recessionary pressures are there, and you need to get the money before the recession gets worse. And that's why you have to become a member of this channel. You go right in this video and become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. You deserve all these incredible checks. Why would you wait to get these incredible checks? Let's go over those checks right now. Single individual, $75,000 or less, a married couple, $150,000 less, all of you qualify. And those incredible checks are huge. These are done by the President of the United States. 
die executive action in the month of March. They are federal stimulus. They're not state stimulus. They're from the federal government, and you qualify. $100,000. Go get them. How do you get them? Become a member and stay the second half of this video. Go right in this video and become a member. Get these incredible checks. The president did them by executive action in the month of March, and they've been law ever since. Viewers have cleaned up ever since. You deserve to clean up as well. You qualify. Single individual, $75,000 less. Go get it. Mary couple, $150,000 less. Go get it. If you rent, if you own it, if you are on benefits, not on benefits, go get it. How do you get it? Go under the video and become a member. Become a member of this channel and get those incredible checks right today. In the second half of this video, we're going to go over each of these wonderful checks one at a time. We have another major breaking news story, folks, that was really buried in the news. In addition to become a member, let's jump over to this news story, which impacts inflation. And that major number released, that major announcement coming today also impacts recession. Where did it come from? It came from a buried news article that says, drumroll, <laughs> drumroll, the, e the EU has bought some gasoline. <gasps> really? <laughs> You mean they went down the station and fill up the uh, Fiat Cinquecento? No, 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 no. They did not just fill up the car. They went down and bought some gasoline. Yes, this is a fascinating story, and it's a biggie. Remember, we've been detailing this a long time on this channel. There's 3.5 million barrels of gasoline missing per day because of the Russian embar because of the embargo of Russian oil. So we've been talking about the concern of Nord Stream 1. This is the pipeline that feeds all the oil to Western Europe. And where does it come from? Of course, it comes from Vladimir Putin. It comes from Russia. Well, a buried news article today says that the head of the EU is on route right at the time of this recording to sign a proposed deal. I have the details of the deal right now for you to get a replacement for Russian oil. This is fascinating, and let's go over all the details of it right now. First, it's not petroleum oil. It's not the gasoline for the car. This is actually natural gas. Number two, this is specifically because of the concern about Nord Stream 1. I detail that all over this channel in the last two weeks. Nord Stream 1 is a pipe that feeds the gas from Russia to Western Europe. It's been offline for a few days. It's been less than a week for a routine maintenance. Well, the EU leaders, whether it's France or Germany, all believe it's never going to come back online. They believe that Vladimir Putin's going to make an excuse not to turn back online to starve those countries of natural gas, especially during the winter months. So these EU leaders are very smart. They went out and got the gasoline, or in this case, the nat, the nat gas. And this is just incredibly great news. European President um, Ursula von Leyen is en route right now to Baku and should be there maybe by the time of the, you watch this video. And this is as a report indicates that she has signed a deal with Azerbaijan to provide nat gas to Western Europe to remove the Russian dependency in the event that Nord Stream 1 is not turned back on. Amid Russia's continued weaponization of the energy supply, diversification of our energy imports is a priority for the EU, she tweeted earlier today. President von Leren and the EU Energy Commissioner Kadri Simpson will be in Azerbaijan to fully strengthen the cooperation. Yeah, that insider says a little bit more than that. They actually say there's been a draft of the actual signed agreement that has actually been signed reportedly by all the, EU all the EU countries to get the NAC gas from Azerbaijan. And this will be a big one because remember, over the last few weeks, we've been detailing this on the channel. The EU countries initially were trying to ban the Russian oil, couldn't because some countries like Hungary were. Uh, were against it. So they gave a waiver to three or four countries, I think it was Slovakia, uh, Hungary, and one other. And they said, okay, we'll give you a waiver so long as you're not part of the voting process on banning the Russian oil. They banned it. Then they worried about Nord Stream 1 going offline about a week ago for routine maintenance. And now today, the major deal. Oh, can we send a copy of this deal to someone else so he can look at it? Uh, Joe Biden, you know, it just inspire him to get on the plane and fly and buy some oil. Remember, we're missing 3.5 million barrels of gasoline per day. And as we continue to have that missing gasoline, it will track higher. That's why you have to become a member of this channel. As a member of the channel, you also get those wonderful LA worksheets. Here are those LA worksheets, totally free for members. They're the third or fourth line of the membership newsletter every day. It's a PDF 
was a series of pages more about your stimulus, more about the federal government and this big question marks of things to do. And let's go over what you should be taking notes on those worksheets today about. You can either print them out or take notes on a separate piece of paper. First, inflation. What did we learn today? We learned today that the inflationary pressures from the last week have not eased. And we learned that Goldman Sachs CEO, that's a trading bank or, or you know investment bank, its head Solomon, CEO Solomon, said he believes inflation may be permanently embedded in the landscape of the American uh, economy. That's just horrible news, folks. It's really bad news. It basically says, if you're used to spending $5 overpriced for an item, you'll just spend for that item indefinitely. It's not good news. Recession. What do we learn about the recession today? We learned that the consumer now believes that recession is absolutely coming next year. It seems like they've been watching this channel because remember, I was the first financial analyst that said we're going to recession next year, last year, uh, in February of this year. Labor. What do we learn about labor? Solomon is again saying that major layoffs need to come or hiring freezes or cutbacks because they're not making the type of money they should. And the Federal Reserve, we learned a thing about them today. No, I've been telling viewers, I don't really care whether the Federal Reserve is three quarters or 100 basis point at that FOMC meeting on July 26, 27, because it all impacts you negatively. Let's look at the second page. Of that worksheet. This is great. This is just wonderful. This worksheet helps you so darn much. Why? Because you're going to be calling for a lot of checks and helps you keep track of those incredible checks. We have a table for check A and B and C. You qualify. So we go over all those incredible checks you put in with the date you applied, the period you applied, the amount and the notes of your contact and how much you got paid. We'll go over all these incredible checks in just a second after the commercial break. This stimulus, what do we learn about the raise of your benefits? We learned that your benefits are still likely tracking higher if inflation has not settled down. And we're waiting to see more housing data tomorrow and Wednesday to give us more indication about where inflation is going. Six minutes, what do we learn about gas? This is, this is the one to really take notes on today. We just learned about that major deal with the EU for NAC gas from Azerbaijan. The report at issue actually says the deal's been done. They just have to actually sign it. So it's they actually say it's done. Fascinating. And then student loan debt forgiveness, a seven stimulus. Wow. Well, the President of the United States is about to do that in just a few days, sign it into law. Very exciting across the board. Here's what you need to know is that these stimulus checks you deserve and you absolutely need to get them. You absolutely need to get them. Why? Because it's a lot of money. Two, we're never going to see the magnitude of this money again. Number three, this economy is not particularly in a good situation. And that money is in every U.S. state, and it's so simple for you to get. What I have done is I put it in a way that is easy for people to get the money by organizing it into a simple, straightforward newsletter. What do we know? In the next 90 days, we have a lot of major twists and turns. Gasoline is likely to stay high. CPI is going to stay high. Federal Reserve is going to raise rates. But it's this graphic. Look at that graphic. Yeah, phases the economy now to September, September to January, and January thereafter. Notice that poll early in this recording. The individuals polled believed that we will enter recession next year. That's what I see as well. Now, technically, you already are in a recession because we've had two negative quarters of GDP growth. But the hurt of the economy, the hurt of the recession, will not be felt until next year. Needless to say, you can't wait to get these four stimulus checks. You need to get them right now. We had a great time this last weekend. We really got caught up on everything on this channel. I loved you tuning in. You did a great job because last week was a monster week. This week will be a monster week as well because there is so much going on this week. You need to know where we're heading. What's happening this week? Well, we have a lot of corporate earnings coming in today. Um, later today, we have uh, Bank of America and Johnson Johnson, Netflix, and Lockheed Martin reporting uh, earnings uh, excuse me, I just said that wrong. Bank America is today. Tomorrow is Netflix and uh, and Lockheed Martin. Then Wednesday is Tesla. And then American Express and Verizon are on Friday. We're watching those corporate earnings because we're going to try to see if there's earnings recession because corporate recession is very manifest. We have a lot of housing data being released today. You already saw it early in this recording. 
And that housing data is very important because it basically gives you an indication of how high this inflation is or if it's settling down. We're not focusing on the Federal Reserve so much this week. Why? Because they're going to do 75 or 100. Who, who really cares? And we rely on Art Hogan for the hilarious comment of the day. It really is just a study in mob psychology. <laughs> he's referring to the Federal Reserve. No, he's referring to analysts. Analysts who went from a 92% of a 75 basis point hike, 92% of a 100 basis point hike on Wednesday, down to 20% by Friday, when really nothing had changed. Nonsense, yeah. What, what is amongst the nonsense as well is today uh, crypto. <laughs> Crypto, crypto, crypto. Uh, crypto is uh, on a, uh, is to the moon. No, it's to twenty two thousand Bitcoin. Uh, and this is what we try. What I talked about a lot. I've been teaching viewers on this channel is that people, when times are not good, when numbers are down, try to see a pop up and then recast that pop as the end of the bad times. Folks, we have a recession. We have recessions two years. So you're gonna have periods in which crypto stocks go in a different direction for a few weeks, a few days, or maybe even a month. And right out the gate, some crypto traders are trying to say, hey, we're to the moon. We're going to go. We're done with the uh, with the crypto winner. Uh, you're just getting started. Get your wool coat and galoshes on. It's just getting started. In the second half of this video, we're going to go over all these incredible checks one at a time. Plus, we'll be checking back on that pop singer and seeing whether she's getting your stimulus and what other pop singers should get involved with her as well. <laughs> We're not done with that story. You think we're done with that story? No, of course not. <laughs> become a member. Go right in this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Barracos, you know, VIP. And in the second half, I'll give you a preview also of the brand new LA2 and LA3 coming to this channel in just a few days. But first, there's a little bit about the community page. I'll see you back in 60 seconds as Afternoons LA continues from the shores of Santa Monica, California, this beautiful day. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings at 8 at 9 a.m. Home LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Light. And the excitement continues a big second half of Afternoons LA from the shores of Santa Monica, California. I'm very excited for that EU deal for the gas. It really is important. The housing data are not particularly good, but we didn't expect it good at all. Later in this recording, we'll go over the Build Back Better Act and what's going on with that. But first, now we turn to those incredible four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. These are huge, and let's go over all these incredible checks right now. Did you become a member during the commercial break? I hope you did. Go right on this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casino VIP. Get those incredible checks across the land, and we're going to go over each of these incredible checks starting right now. These incredible checks were done by the President of the United States back in the month of March, and they've been law ever since, and they're huge. I've been getting viewers of this money for a while. And these wonderful checks are astronomically great. Let's go over this. Is that a hyperbole? No, it's just wonderful. Let's go over each of these wonderful checks with the introduction starting right now. First, 
These are done by executive action from Joseph Biden. So they are federal stimulus. They're not from your state. They're not from your state legislator. Number two, the money is a lot, about $100,000. Number three, you qualify. Single individual, $75,000 less. Go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less. Go get it. If you rent, if you own it, if you have children, if you don't have children, go get it. And if you're on benefits, go get it as well. It's very easy. You just become a member, go right on the membership newsletter, and start applying for these individual checks one after a another. Let's look at each of these big checks, and we're going to start first, of course, with the start of the album of bet and check A. Check A is a $6,500 to $12,000 for a simple check in every U.S. state. And this incredible check is just wonderful. It's called the Weatherizing Grant Check, and you qualify. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. And if you're on benefits, go get it as well. How do you get it? Step one, go into this video, become a member. Step Two, subscribe. Remember, you got to subscribe to this channel as well. Number three, hit the alert button at the front of this channel and make sure it's set to all notifications all on. Then go down that membership newsletter when you get it and open it up and go down to check A. There it is. And apply. Click the link. It sends you right into the Wave National website. Then you choose your state, then you choose the homeowner's grant, and you're ready to rock and roll. You're not done there yet. You can go get check B. Oh, boy, look at that great money. Fifteen dollars to $80,000 for a stimulus check in every U.S. state. If you're on benefits, SSI and SSDI, go get it. If you are, are, make $75,000 or less, go get it. And marry couple, one hundred fifty dollars or less. Number one, subscribe to this channel. Number two, go into this video and join the channel. Get that incredible membership newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific State Time. And then go down to find Check B. There it is. Click the link. It sends you into the Nationwide website. And get these incredible checks. And you're ready to rock and roll. Wow, did you see that? <laughs> My goodness. That's $100,000 right there. Check A, about $12,000. Check B, about $80,000. We're at whopping $100,000 already. But we're not going to stop there yet. You're going to look at Check C. Look at the deliciousness. <laughs> it is averaging about $45,000 a viewer. A lot of viewers have gotten over $150,000. Most viewers have gotten $2,000 a month over 12 months. It's a monthly stimulus check for them as well. How do you, what are the success stories of these wonderful monies for Check C? Well, it's rent, it's utilities, it's mortgage assistance, and more. And viewers have been getting this Check C on this channel for a very long time, since December 2020 approximately. And here are some success stories. These success stories should be you as well. Nisi, all the way up to Elizabeth, at $27,000 for rent. Do you want these numbers of money for rent? Then go get check C. Look at these numbers for utilities. Then go get check C. Mark's brother-in-law got $15,000. And that same brother-in-law is getting snap at a quarter million dollars over 10 years. Combinations. Go get lots of combinations of checks. Nisi, Mark, Lorraine, Johnny all got multiple checks because that's what I teach. If you get one check, you don't stop. You go back in and get other checks. Nisi went from 23000 to 50000 Mark went from 32000 to 166000 because he got check B. And Lorraine got even more at one fifty-five. Let's look at their success stories right now. Here is Mark. Oh, my goodness. Before he went to one hundred, and then one sixty-six. Here's Lorraine. Before she went to one, went to one fifty. The common denominator among Lorraine, Johnny, Margaret, Mark is all the same. One, they're in all the videos. They're watching all the videos. You see them in the live chat. There they are, because the information is king. You need to know what this economy is doing and where it's going. I told you last week that two major banks reported corporate earnings, and one saw a drop of 50% in one quarter of its earnings. Not good. No bueno. So we wanted to see what happened with Goldman today, for example, Goldman Sachs. And while they did have a drop, as it predicted, it was actually a beat on the number. That's why their stock was through the roof. You need to know this data because it signals you know, where this economy is and where it's going. Number two, the other thing that these three, four people, those four or five people do is they keep on getting checks. That's what I teach on this channel. You get one check, you get another check. You get one check, you get a third check. You keep on getting sums of money. Dedicate yourself to watching the videos throughout the day, all the videos, and then spend the rest of the time making the calls to get these checks going online, apply and get these incredible checks. Let's recap. Number one, go into this video, subscribe. Go into this video. Number two, go into this video and become a member. Join the channel. Hit that button that says join the channel. Then get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and start applying. Also go to the front of the channel and hit that bell to make sure all notifications are set to all on so you don't miss anything across the board. Let's go through this all together with the following graphic. 
the Allied Newsletter. <laughs> there we go. The Allied Newsletter, delivered Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alerts. Go get it. So simple. When you get the alert, here's what it looks like. That is the alert. Go down the alert till you see the actual surfer the, below him. Go all the way to the bottom. And then there's a button, button that says click view the post. You click it and you go in and you're ready to rock and roll. How simple it is. And there, my friends, is the newsletter. Let's see it. You're done. Absolutely. Isn't that so simple? It really is so simple. Let's go over that one more time. The LA Newsletter delivered at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you're not on the West Coast, then know the time zone difference for you. This is one of the number one most watched asked questions. You need to know the time zone. If you're not on the West Coast, then what is your time zone when it's 7 o'clock in Los Angeles? Number two, deliver via the YouTube alert. So you need to make sure your phone is signed into YouTube. I got to tell you, this is the number one thing I hear from viewers. They don't remember if they're signed into YouTube. Well, how does YouTube recognize you if you're not signed in? You have to stay signed in. Make sure you are signed in and stay signed in so that it recognizes you as a member. Here is the alert. First line for members only. First second, first line in the body, LA newsletter. Go down in it. Go down, down, down till you see the words. Let's watch for them. And there they are. View the post. You go right in and you're ready to rock and roll. How simple is that? Get that incredible money right today. You deserve it across the land. And with that, let's go jump back into what's really heating up Wall Street, your money, the Federal Reserve, Joe Biden, and everything else today. There's a series of things out there today, and I want to refocus you especially on them. It's important to know that we are here as a family to make our households financially independent. We do not want to be financially dependent on the federal government. We do not want to be financially dependent upon an event happening because the event may not happen. The way you get financial independence is you get lots of money. You get lots of money and you have lots of correct information about where this economy is and where it's going. You prepare yourself accordingly by understanding ahead of day, ahead of time, where this economy is. And waiting after it's gotten there is too late. Let's go over some of the things that are very important to understand today when looking at that CPI and this week upon us starting right now. First, the inflation is such an important number. It really is an important number. And I got to tell you, in the last year, we have really sort of merged and focused really only on the CPIs as a society. It was not a year ago that we were not really focused on CPIs, the common denominator, the, the number one benchmark for determining inflation. But now it really is. And so that CPI number released once a month, released last Wednesday, is critical. But throughout the month, we'll see other numbers that give us indications about inflation. If it hasn't peaked, then the numbers will continue to go higher. So far as of tonight, we have no indication that inflation has peaked. Number two, recession. This is where it gets interesting. Two negative quarters of GDP growth have occurred in this economy. We know that from the Atlanta Fed GDP now. The official announcement coming from the Department of Labor around uh, six, four days from now, July 21 approximately. Number three, we also understand that a recession will impact different parts of this economy in different ways. It will impact one part geographically before another, one industry more than another, and that's what's really important to understand is that people are going to feel the hurt of the recession differently in different parts of the country. And then we have the Federal Reserve. Am I really focused on the Federal Reserve? Not at the moment because 75 basis point, 100 basis point in just a few days doesn't really make any much difference across the land. Here's what you need to know is that you need to be proud of your desire for information. You need to be proud that you wish to be as informed as you can as a viewer. This is an educational, informational, and news channel. And you're priding yourself on learning exactly where everything's happening on a daily basis for this economy because the economy is changing really quickly. I may not mention again the EU deal in Azerbaijan uh, tomorrow or the day after. I haven't mentioned Nord Stream 1 on this channel for four days, so if you missed that recording last week, then you may not even know what I'm referring to. These are critical things that you got to know exactly what's going on. Here's what you also need to know, is that the consumer confidence or sentiments is going to get worse. And as consumer confidence sentiments gets worse, two things are going to happen. One, people who don't have yet stimulus are going to come to this channel saying, find me some stimulus. I'll be like, well, here it is. <laughs> I've been getting other viewers so far, a long time of this money, but welcome here. Go get it. 
And then other people may not visit the channel. They may just sort of stay along the sidelines and say, there never was a forced stimulus. Yeah, there has been. It's been so, so smart. Why haven't you gotten? Well, how come I wasn't told about it? Uh, because it's different. This time around, it mirrors basically first stimulus. First stimulus involved big sums of money, PPP, EIDL loans. These were $150,000 to $304,000 instruments. These were monster instruments. And if you didn't get $300,000 to start the pandemic for stimulus, then you weren't watching this channel. That was what was happening then. This is what's happening now. And I know that it's, it, it's sometimes hard to forget something you've done before. But it's not hard to forget that six hundred dollars is not three hundred thousand. <laughs> it's not hard to forget that uh, that twelve hundred dollars is not a hundred thousand dollars. These are monster sums of money, and they're not going to be around forever. Go get those sums of money. Finally, a pop singer. A pop singer thinks that your stimulus needs to get done. <laughs> She wants to be stimulating. Well, you know, we've heard that before. It's a common theme in in in, uh, in pop songs. Uh, well, that pop singer is Cher, as detailed on the channel over the weekend. Cher is unhappy with Joe Manchin's uh, dealings with the Build Back Better Act, and she wants it out the door and done. Uh, well, there we go. Let's go over what Cher would say about some of the provisions of the Build Back Better Act. I can't believe I'm saying this. <laughs> <laughs> this is just totally random. Okay, this is Cher, this is what I think Cher would say about the Bill Better Act. Twenty five thousand dollars for the purchase of your first home. Of course, snap out of it. Uh, Two hundred fifty billion dollars for free home health care for seniors and people on disabilities. Of course, snap out of it. <laughs> and then MSC. Should we get an MSC? Of course, snap out of it. <laughs> okay, is that all that Cher says? Yes, of course, snap out of it. Uh, <laughs> It just struck over and over and over again. There's individual uh, provisions of the Bill Buy Better Act. What would Cher say about these provisions to Mansion? Hazard pay. Uh, well, that was that was living with Sonny. <laughs> oh boy, uh, four thousand dollars of elder care. That was you know I'm, I'm gonna stay away from that joke. <laughs> four thousand dollars of care for young children. Oh, that was, that's for these young pop singers. They're just very very young. Um, Twelve thousand five hundred dollars for the purchase of a new electric vehicle. I love that. And then home repairs. Yes, uh, repair the house and then repair the Senate while you're at it. <laughs> Let's go to the second cluster. Home repairs? No, share. Those provisions have been moved out. Paid leave. Can you leave J Joe Manchin and, and pay him to, get, to leave? <laughs> is that paid leave? Does that mean to pay Joe Manchin to leave? No, it's not, that's not what paid leave is. But if it was, it would may, it maybe would work. Uh, then let's go to the third cluster. What would Cher say about the third cluster? Senior, it's free internet for all. Oh, free internet. Yes, because I can tweet Joe Manchin some more. Uh, farmers checks, independent contractors checks. And uh, dental, vision, hearing. Oh, that's all needed for Joe Manchin. He's not hearing or listening or, or watching anything that anyone says. <laughs> he needs assistance on all that. Well, thank you for your insight on all that. I don't know where that came from. But, you know, that's why I'm here. <laughs> Let's go over something that I think is really important. In the next two years, this economy is going to get very, very weak. It's going to get very, very different than it is even right now. The economy is not doing particularly well at the moment, but it's going to be a lot worse. What's going to be worse is the economy. What's going to be worse is the president's poll ratings. What's going to be worse is consumer sentiments about the U.S. government and consumer confidence about the economy. A lot of things are going to be worse, worse, worse. I'm here to always guide you through when times aren't good. That's why I'm here. I'm not here just, you know... Here's a check. Have a beautiful dance with me. No, no, I'm here to help you also in times that are difficult. And that is why two new channels are launching. LA2 and LA3. They're two new channels that'll help you get through these times together in a better way than you're even doing it right now. On LA2, you're going to have stimulus 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And you're going to have humor. Your favorite shows are back for new seasons like Sirloin, Javita Late, and Blaine 66 back for Calcino Season 2. Wow, we saw Calcino season one last fall. And the tensions arise as Sirloin got top billing and Javita Lake was just sort of like left for the scarves. Well, they're back for season two. Let's see what happens with their battleground. Then Blaine 66, which you met once at the tail end as a spinoff of Javita in 2020 with his own work in tier two, is back now for season two of tier two. He last worked with Senator Mitch McConnell's office before that was at SBA. Where do you think Mitch, where do you think Blaine 66 works now? You'll find out in the debut of Tier 2 coming to LA2 as well. And then a brand new show called Seriously. 
led by Sirloin, of course. Show that talks about government, and sometimes it's a joke, and that's why Sirloin's around. <laughs> <laughs> on LA3, you're going to have Wall Street morning, noon, and night giving you guidance on where this economy is, where it's going, and how to make money. It's important to watch that show because I'll give you guidance on all this economy. There's a lot of shows coming to LA3, including everything about the markets, but also <laughs> your Brussels sprouts. Lots of deliciousness coming to LA3. That will have the cooking programming. LA3 will also feature cooking programming. Shows have already been shot for it. And uh, let's just say I shot them when the heat was here. But certainly in advance of today's heat. So thank goodness that show was shot. I'm going to stretch it out a few episodes so the heat keeps, keeps on going. Because it's hard to uh, grill. As one person said, you, you shot a grilling show in the middle of the summer? Yeah, I did. I, that's my dedication. <laughs> That's LA3. How do you watch these two channels? Go under this video and go, where, where you see the button to subscribe, subscribe to LA2 and subscribe to LA3. They'll be launching in less than 30 days officially, probably less than 14 days. Watch for the official announcement. They're in test mode right now. Last night, LA2 had a live stream on your stimulus throughout the night. Meantime, uh, what should be expected with uh, the remainder of the week? Well, we have a lot of data coming out, and we're going to see that data tonight on evenings. I'll give you more preview of, of what we're going to see, because you need to pounce as a purple hawk. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, have a beautiful afternoon. Stay cool, even though it's hard with this weather. Stay informed. That's easier to do. And as always, stay with Ally for more.